Hi, I'm Dave Hobbs for Delphi Product and Service Solutions, and I want to give you some good tech tips on how to handle diagnosing fuel systems, specifically fuel pumps. Now, most technicians are very adept about getting into the fuel rail, finding either the Schrader valve to put a gauge on, or getting your master fuel pressure gauge set out, and then pulling those lines off and going in series with the lines with your fuel pressure gauge and looking to see if you got fuel pressure within spec. First off, let's talk about the key on engine off, the static fuel pressure test. Always, always, always make sure that fuel tank has fuel in it. I can't tell you how many times other techs have been burned and I've been burned personally thinking the vehicle had plenty of fuel in it because of what the fuel gauge was showing or because maybe what we actually dumped in it ourselves but didn't take into account the vehicle was on an incline and it was a rear pump mount, rear tank mounted type fuel pump. So if the fuel is starving away from the pump, you'll have a little spritz at your fuel pressure gauge out here at the rail. You'll think you're drawing good fuel. You swore you put two or three gallons in yourself, but it's not getting enough fuel. And that could damage a pump actually because fuel pumps are cooled with fuel. So, keeping this in mind, the best way to determine if your fuel tank has sufficient fuel in it, guess what? It's simply to add some more fuel than what it came in with.